Hi guys. I am currently trying to figure out my lighting situation, so please bear with me. I am going to be reviewing and swatching this CADS Ocean 004 plate. The reason why it looks streaky is because I tried to uh, swatch it yesterday, but then I was like, you know what, let me just save it for a separate video. I was trying to do two plates in one, but I thought that I should just do a separate video. So there's a whole bunch of fish images on here. And that's what it looks like, and we're going to go swatch it now. So stay tuned for swatches. So normally I try to zoom in so you guys can see what I'm doing. I think I'm going to not zoom in um, this time, and then when I'm done with the swatch, I'll come close to the camera and show you. So yesterday I was swatching my little waves plate. Now, do these look like ocean waves to you? Because these were my best ones. And then these two I thought didn't show up as well. And I don't know if because my background was too busy. So anyway, I'm going to continue to play with that plate. And if you want to see what the plate looks like, it just looks like this. I still have to clean it, so I'm so very sorry. <clears throat> just a bunch of wave designs on it. So, let's fix you a little bit here. Just wanted to show you those swatches really quickly if you have not seen. I don't even know what to call it. I'm just keep, I'm gonna call it my wave plate. Um, so we're gonna grab a swatch stick. And we are going to use a stamping polish for right now, a white stamping polish. So let's see, I think I'm going to try to pick up these fish right here. So I'm going to take my white, I do have my, sorry guys I'm in the way. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. It is the morning time. Um, and then I have my scraper. Scrape quickly. Oh, I wasn't ready, so I might not be able to pick up. Oh, I'm trying to clean my. Uh oh. Sorry, guys, for some reason. The polish didn't want to come off of my of my stamper. Excuse my <clears throat> nails, please. Does I need to do them? We do not have a cotton cloth that looks like something like this. You can always use a clothespin that looks like this. Sometimes I use this. That's totally fine to use too. Either one works pretty much the same exact way. So what I do to clean is I just I just go just like that. The white takes a little bit more effort, white and black, because there's such, I don't know, if it's because the colors are really pigmented, I have no idea what it is, but do you see how white always leaves like a, a film? Just make sure, make sure, English, 
<laughs> make sure that you clean your plate properly because then you don't want any problems uh, picking up your next image. So we're going to put our cotton cloth to the side. Ooh, it's raining outside. It's been raining for the last couple days. So we put our white down. Gonna go ahead and pick up our little fish. I don't think that I got one of the little fish transferred, which is showing you that it does pick up. So let's go to the next image. Me right there. I stamped those fish. Guys, does this happen to you? I'm not, like, I just tried to pick up this image twice. And I don't know if it's this. This is just normal nail polish that is really old and hopefully thick enough that I can use for stamping. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. Okay, I'm going to switch up my stamper, number one, because... It's giving me problems with this plate. And number two, because every time I try to stamp, the actual stamper like pops out. You know, like it'll stick to the it'll stick to the plate and it'll <clears throat> it'll pop out of its of its place, which is weird. But this this particular uh, stamper that happens too. So I'm just gonna grab another stamper. Go back to the stamper that always works for me. <clears throat> the only problem is that I damaged it a little bit on the head, but I think it still works. So we're going to go ahead and try it out. I did get it a little off, but you guys get the point of it. Look at all that detail. Really, really nice. I am completely off, but it gives it kind of... A little bit of dimension, I guess. I don't know. Not a great swatch, but we might be able to fit another fish on there. So let's see. Do it vice versa this time. I'm going to put silver on the bottom. And do that bottom fish. Pick that up, not perfect, but you see, I messed that up just a little bit, but that's okay. <clears throat> We're gonna continue once again. I'm not a pro at stamping yet. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll get really good at it someday. Alright. Pick up that little fish. Go ahead and clean what I do not want really quickly. Ooh. With my lint roller, I almost knocked you guys over. And you want to try to line it up as best as possible for me. It's kind of hard to look through through the camera and onto the nail. I tried my best there. Not the greatest, but it's okay. Really cute. All right, let's move on. Sorry guys, hopefully I'm not, not, getting sick. Alright, let's choose another little swatch stick here. I have a little technique. I like to hold my swatch stick and my scraper and my left hand, just like this, so I can have both of them ready. I have my stamper really close by. Take off the lid. Alright. 
I haven't really played with this stamper yet, but um, we're going to go ahead and give it a try. Hopefully it doesn't pop out. Okay. Let's see. Look how awesome that came out. Little school of fish swimming around in circles. Now, I'm not sure that all the I'm not sure like most of them most of them on there look like little tiny dots. I don't know that I picked them all up because on the stamping plate they all look like little fish. But on the swatch <clears throat> some of them right in the middle just look like little dots so I'm pretty sure that was my error and I didn't get a good pickup but this still looks really really cool we're gonna go ahead and try another swatch here okay well these came out much better really really cool if you look at them together They look really awesome, except for the one on the left. It's not really complete, but I love the way that the image, the uh, fish are kind of going in a circle in a school. And you can kind of position that many different ways on your your nail. So that's a, that's a fun image. Moving on. I'm going to try all the little tiny dolphins, a little dolphin, a little dolphin squat, okay, Let's see if we can pick up a little dolphin squat, there we have a little dolphin squat, okay, this is a smaller design. So there are the dolphins. I think I'm going to try it again to try to continue the top of the nail. By the way, I'm liking these stamping polishes. I think I got them off Amazon, I believe. I like Amazon, but things are a little bit more expensive on Amazon. There are those cute little dolphins, and we're going to try... The best that we can to line these up. I don't know how well of a job I'm going to be able to do. But there we go. That came out pretty cute. Look at all those cute little dolphins. Excuse my voice. <clears throat> cute, huh? See those little dolphins in there? Okay, we're going to do a swatch or two more. I don't want this video to be too long. Okay. I think I'm going to try for this image in here that has all the different little fish in it. And there's different sized fish, different types of fish. So that should come out really cute. Let's see. Here we have it. Now let's see. I like these images, but they're really, really small. So they would fit perfect on little tiny nails. See that? I'm going to try to try to continue. <laughs> what did I just say? The image. Oh, I ruined it. I ruined this watch, but you guys get the the gist of it, you get the point. 
I picked up something on my stamper and I didn't even see that I picked that up. And then I went to go stamp it and look, you ruined it, or I ruined it. So you definitely have to pay attention and pay good attention to what you're doing because you can ruin your stamp like I just did. Sorry for my focus. But you guys get the point. Okay. So that was a bit of a mishap. I apologize for that, but that's what uh, practicing and learning is all about. All right, let's go for one more. I'm gonna do the one, the image right above, right above that one, which is that one right there. There you go, there are your little fishies. We're gonna continue to the top. Since the stamp is really small. Swipe. Try to get it in the corner because I missed the little corner there. Get out what I do not want. There, I did a better job this time. I didn't smush it or get it messed up. You guys see that? <clears throat> there we go. Really cute lines came out, the little d dots came out. Little fish in between. Not a bad plate. Super cute. So these are the swatches that I did for today. Really cool plate. It was really fun. I just have to keep practicing with stamping. That's all. Anyways guys, if you enjoyed this plate and you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and along with it, hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time that I make another video so you do not miss it. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.